In this video, I am going to explain important relationship between internal organ and upper extremity. These things are strongly connected. But how? How come are they connected? Because they are far away, right? Because this is right shoulder. This is internal organ. How come these are connected? I need to explain one very important nerve, which is phrenic nerve. Phrenic nerve. This is from C3, 4, 5, and it passes inside the part of thorax and it innervates diaphragm, superior part of diaphragm and inferior part of diaphragm. This nerve is today's main character, okay? Phrenic nerve C3 through C5. C3 through C5. Okay, now, yeah, understand. Phrenic nerve is from C3 through C5. Then, it's still far away. Cervical spines to upper extremities. There's one more important structure. That's this bundle of nerves. This is brachial plexus. Brachial plexus. This is from C5 through T1. C5 through T1. Okay, brachial plexus. If brachial plexus got damaged, that can create pain, or numbness, or restriction of range of motion. Maybe around shoulder, maybe around arm, elbow, wrist, and fingers. That's why this is very important for upper extremity. Okay, brachial plexus, C5 through T1. Look at phrenic nerve. There is common place between phrenic nerve and brachial plexus. That's C5, okay? C5 is common place between phrenic nerve and brachial plexus. So when phrenic nerve is aggravated, Brachial plexus can be aggravated via C5, okay? Now, do you remember? Phrenic nerve innervates inferior part of diaphragm. What's there? There is liver, okay? On right side, on right side. On left side, there is stomach, right? So, when movement of liver is inhibited, or maybe liver gets dysfunction, this can aggravate phrenic nerve, right? Because liver and phrenic nerve is very close. Phrenic nerve is aggravated by liver. Do you remember? There is common place between phrenic nerve and brachial plexus via C5. Now, this connection can go to brachial plexus. That can create disability for shoulder, arm, elbow, or wrist, and fingers. Phrenic nerve, brachial plexus, and it goes to upper extremity. This is tendency when liver doesn't move very well, that tends to affect right shoulder because there's connection via right side phrenic nerve, okay? And when stomach gets sick or stomach doesn't move well, this tends to create left side shoulder dysfunction because this is by left phrenic nerve. You know, stomach is on left side. Liver is on right side. So, usually, liver inhibits right shoulder or right upper extremity. Stomach inhibits 
left side of upper extremity. This is very important to understand relationship between internal organ and upper extremity. Key structure is phrenic nerve and brachial plexus. So in this video, I explained important relationship between internal organ and upper extremity. If you liked today's video, please hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. See you next video.